Hey, everybody. It's your guy, Zach, here. Talking to you. Just to remind you all that even though you got your copy of Jawbreakers, the rest of those Comicsgate books are all a scam. You're never going to get them. Hey, Zach. What do you want? I was just checking the mail, and um, look what came. Mike S. Miller, Blacklist Universe. Oh, come on! Hey, everybody, Jam Creates here. Um, I don't know, my, my account got taken over by a sock puppet, apparently. Um, I wonder if that's what they mean when they say sock puppet accounts. Anyway, um, I know that most of uh, Comicsgate apparently is supposed to be sock puppet accounts and scams. So, I mean, you know, why not? Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> um, this is my official unboxing video for Lone Star, Heart of the Hero, number one. Uh, just to point out, because I know there's a little competition going on, Lone Star arrived before Graveyard Shift did. So... Let's take it out. Let's see what we got here. We've got, of course, Lone Star Heart of the Hero number one autographed. My guess Miller's autograph. Uh, I chose this cover. You had a choice of a few different covers. This was the cover I chose. Uh, it was the one I liked the most. Um, yes, just for full disclosure. I did open this before I shot the video, and so the cardboard that was holding this in place is not there. Um, but it was attached to a cardboard uh, slide, whatever you want to call it, insert. Um, this is the Lone Star Squadron 1st Brigade dog tag, um, which is cool. I don't know what I'll do with it. I'll hang it somewhere, and, and that'll be that. You know, I'll probably end up storing it with the book. Um, but as far as the mailer goes, it came in, you know, a solid enough mailer. And, um, you know, there was another piece of cardboard inside as well, like I said, to hold the dog tag on. Um, so the book came, and the book was also bagged and boarded. And, well, let's, let's open up the bag, and I'll show you the other contents. I'm going to have to get good at opening comic books with one hand if I'm going to be doing these, these unboxing videos. Um, so anyway, here's the book, of course, autographed by Mike S. Miller. Um, and then it also came with a Lone Star trading card, which is a really cool trading card, honestly. Like, this looks legit. And you flip it over... It's got a whole uh, description on the back of who Lone Star is. It's even got power ratings. Like, do you remember the old, like, Marvel cards used to always give you, like, the power ratings and stuff? It gives you the strength, speed, agility, stamina, durability, intelligence. Um, it tells you his group affiliation, his first appearance. Um, it even gives you a little did you know about Lone Star. It's definitely cool. Um... It's fun. I would love to get, like, uh, maybe with future campaigns. Um, I mean, because I know, you know, this is only issue one. There's going to be more. Uh, it would be cool to see, like, um, maybe the rest of the Unknown Soldiers in card form. Like, that would be kind of cool to get, like, a whole set of the characters from Lone Star. That'd be nice. Um, and then it also came with the Christmas postcard, um, which it's the Comicsgate Christmas postcard. So it's got... Um, you know, it's got Red Rooster and Cyberfrog and Dark Santana. It's even got T-Bird and Throttle in the back. There's Umbrella Guy back there on the Snowman. Uh, Cecil, uh, Knuckle Bomb, um, uh, Graveyard Shift, Bigfoot Bill, Brutus the Badass, uh, Jawbreaker. It's got, like, everybody in there. So, I mean, it's definitely cool. Um, and it's a nice little just, you know, blank on the back. It's just a nice little postcard, a little thing. Um, Detective Dead in the back on the picture. Uh, it's cool. He worked a lot of people into this. It's based on that Norman Rockwell uh, famous painting. So it's cool. It's definitely a nice little little bonus. 
Um, and some of you may have seen in previous issues, I met uh, Mike S. Miller at uh, New York City Comic Con, and he gave me actually a poster of this cover. It's like a big old poster. I should have I should have brought it out, had it here for this video. Um, but anyway, uh, you can go back and see it. I had a my video where I talk about my experience at Comic Con. I show that I got a commission, a Lone Star commission from Mike, and I got a poster of this. And then he also gave me a Lone Star bookmark, uh, which was cool. It was like just a little promotional thing that had the Indiegogo on it and stuff. It was a way for him to promote the Indiegogo at the time. Um, so then. You know, moving on to the book itself, it's saddle stitched, um, like a normal comic book. You know, it just means the two staples um, in there. It's got, you know, the credits and all that. Um, the artwork in the book really is uh, spot on. But I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do a review of the book. So I don't really want to talk too much about the inside of the book per se, um, too much, uh, only because I don't really want to. You know, I don't want to give away too much or anything, but what I will show you is he's got this whole uh, Lone Star Squadron uh, support pages with names of, of backers. Um, and if you take a look right there, right in the middle, you will see Jam Creates. That's me. Yay! <laughs> um, but it's cool. I thought it was a nice little touch. Just have this, um, you know, and it's multiple pages um, of, of people because obviously it had a lot of backers. And then he even uh, teases, which I thought was really smart, Lone Star 2, Part 2, Soul of the Soldier, coming soon. Um, and I thought it was really smart to promote that at the end of this book just to remind people, hey, we're not finished. There's going to be another one, so keep an eye out. And I thought that was really cool um, and smart. And actually what's cool to me with this, I'm always going to have some kind of a connection to this image um, only because uh, when I was at New York City Comic Con, uh, Mike showed me this picture, this cover, in progress. Uh, he was still working on it at the time. It wasn't finished yet. And he showed it to me at Comic Con, so I kind of got a sneak peek of that. Um, I think I might have mentioned that in my Comic-Con video, um, but I, th I, was, I thought that was really cool that I got a, a sneak preview, uh, shall we say, of what this book, this is going to look like, this image. Um, so it's always cool. I'm going to have like always a special kind of feeling about that. Um, as far as the book itself goes, uh, the paper quality is very nice. Um, you know, it's a thick cover stock and, you know, glossy cover stock and the... Um, the inside paper it's glossy paper um you know it's a good quality product it's not cheap it doesn't feel like a cheap book it doesn't feel like um any corn you know it doesn't feel like you cut any corners or anything like that with it for sure um you know it definitely feels like he spent the money um that was given to him uh through the indiegogo to create a nice product um so all in all uh, I would say as far as unboxing is concerned and just the physical, what you get in the package and what's here, I'm very happy uh, with what I have here. Um, like I said, the card, the postcard, the dog tag, and the book. And to me, like honestly, the extra stuff like the um, the dog tag and the postcard and the trading card are cool. Um, they're just cool little extras to me. To me, like the main star, of course, is the book. And I want the book to be... A quality book I want it to look good I want it to feel good I don't want the ink to rub off on my fingers or anything like that you know what I mean like I want it to be good quality stuff and it definitely is so as far as what you're getting you know what you're gonna get in your package if you haven't gotten it yet um, keep an eye on your mailbox you'll get it and um, it'll be worth it it's definitely worthwhile um, so anyway um, I definitely as far as, I don't know, do you rate unboxings? Yay, it's a good unboxing. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, if you like this video, let me know. I'll do more unboxings as I get more stuff. Um, I've backed quite a few, so as I get them, I'll do more unboxings. And who knows, maybe we'll see, uh, maybe we'll see you guys, Zach, again. Um, anyway, uh, 
please uh, click the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, um, hit the bell for notifications, follow me on Twitter, I'm at jam underscore creates. Uh, hit me up in the comments for sure. Let me know. I love talking in the comments. I'm always up for having a good conversation in the comments. If you have any questions that I didn't address for you in this video that you may be curious about, uh, let me know. And I will absolutely be sure to address them in the comments. All right. So I will talk to you guys soon. And well, this is tough. I got to choose where to do it. I'm just gonna do it right on the cover here with this guy getting his head blown off. Peace.